Are we ready to roll? We're live. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Township of Georgian Bay Planning Council for Tuesday, November 9th. It's nine o'clock, and I'd like to call this meeting to order. And in the spirit of reconciliation, we wish to acknowledge the enduring relationship between the Indigenous peoples and the territories they traditionally occupied. We recognize and deeply appreciate the historic connection they've had to this place, the land, the water, the sky, and all that live on, in, and above it. We are grateful for the opportunity to meet here, and we thank all the generations of Indigenous peoples who have taken care of this place and who continue to care for it. And we wanna show our respect. Hundreds of years after the first treaties were signed, they remain relevant today. May they guide our decisions and our actions. We commit to learn, to educate, to honor sacred places, and to take actions towards real truth and reconciliation. And I wanna mention that yesterday, I did not bring up the fact that it was, yesterday was a Aboriginal uh, Remembrance Day. Uh, when they re we remember all the Aboriginal Indigenous uh, contributions to the, the war efforts, uh, and so yesterday was their day. Uh, and it's a doesn't have this, obviously quite the same recognition as uh, November 11th, but I think there's a growing awareness of it. And I should have acknowledged it yesterday. And my apologies for not doing so. Council, are there any declarations of pecuniary interest or conflicts that you wish to declare at this time? All right, and I'll just remind you that if they come up during the meeting, uh, please bring them up if you suddenly become aware of, of a potential conflict. And with that, I would like to see us adopt the agenda of the day. Now, I should note that this agenda has been amended to include um, the closed uh, session and the consent agenda of yesterday, and I trust that you all received a copy of that modification. And I'm further asking that we amend it to add an item of new business in regard to the uh, Seguin, the Township of Seguin asking for our support in an MZO application that they are making. Um, and I became aware of this yesterday. Um, are there any other amendments or changes that any councillor is aware that we should be making? Ms. Way. I just gonna say it has to go under consent agenda because we don't have a new business heading on this agenda. Okay. But so it'll be CF. All right. Appreciate that correction under CF. So I have moved by Councillor Cooper, seconded by Councillor Douglas. Be it resolved that council adopts the planning agenda of November 9th, 2021, as amended. Councillor Jarvis. Sir. So, uh with the MZO request, does that mean if it comes under the consent agenda, we may not be discussing it at all, or do we have a chance to discuss it? We will have a chance to discuss it. Okay, thank you. And I would certainly be disappointed if you all passed it without discussion. All right. All those in favor? And that, yes, that is carried. Thank you. Now, our first part of our meeting is regards to a public meeting held under the authority of the Municipal Act for, I think we have four shore road allowance applications. This morning, there's a public meeting scheduled for four shore road closing applications. I will briefly summarize the procedures to be utilized for the meeting. First, the clerk will advise council as to when, how, and to whom notice of the public meeting was circulated for the proposed shore road closings being considered. Next, staff will advise of the purpose and effect of the bylaw and provide for any other information that is relevant to the applications and staff will summarize any correspondence on file. From there, the public will have an opportunity to speak and to provide comments to the bylaw being considered. Please be respectful of time and be concise with your comments. All commentators are requested to state their name and address and sign in on the sheet provided, or in this case, the screen provided, I guess. Um, 
Council will then have an opportunity to provide comments for clarification. I now declare this meeting to be a public meeting pursuant to the Municipal Act of 2001, C-25, as amended to deal with the following proposed shore road closing bylaw. SRC R21-06 for 407 Berwick Road. SRC R21-11 for 94 Bear Lake Road. When I see here, the, the third one has been withdrawn. Is that correct in this way? I, I noticed in this um, Yes, your, your worship. Um, new information came to light with the property owners yesterday, late in the day. Um, and as of this morning, they will not be in attendance. So we will not be reviewing that particular file. All right. So let's change it to three shore road closings. And the third one being SRC R21-14 for 103 Wesley Road. To our clerk. So notice that the public meeting was published in a newspaper and was sent to the abetting neighbors in close proximity of the property at least 20 days prior to today's meeting. All right, and to our staff, and I believe the first report will be Ms. Levesque, formerly known by a name that I couldn't pronounce properly every 50% of the time. Um, <laughs> I should say congratulations officially now on Thank the you. name change and all that goes with that. And, yes. and with that, um, welcome back. And um, if you could please proceed with application R21-06. Okay, I'm just gonna share my screen here. Okay, can everyone see my screen? We cannot. Nope. Okay. All right. I apologize here. I'd usually disconnect my computer, but we have no internet if I disconnect. So I just give me one moment. There you we can go. now see your screen. Okay. Is that better? It'd be for your information, we're seeing a word. Yeah, it's the resolutions that we're seeing. Okay, okay. that's not what you should be seeing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing resolutions. Um, something funky is going on here, but oh. I'm a little concerned we're seeing a resolution to adjourn and the meeting has barely begun. <laughs> <laughs> I am very sorry here. I'm just trying to, I'm just going to try to disconnect. I just, I'm scared I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to lose internet access. Um, Before you do that, try just disconnecting the HDMI to your big screen. Okay. Sorry, I've lost now all control to my screen. Um, okay. The presentations. Okay, are you? We still just see the resolution screen. Okay. Stop share and reshare may help. Yeah, sorry. I just, I lost all my screens. They all just disappeared on me. 
And I'm also not able to minimize because I'm recording. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just reconnecting my computer here. Just give me one moment. No problem. I do apologize. No pressure, Sydney. Mm. <laughs> I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> yeah, yesterday, we didn't get going until 9.45, so we're already <laughs> half an hour ahead of it. Um, That's true. Mm, okay. Okay, now I have no screens left. Okay, I think I have it. Do you guys see the presentation now? It looks yes. great now. Okay, thank you. Um, good morning, Mayor and Council. I apologize for that uh, extended delay there. Um, okay, so the first short road allowance application this morning is R2106 for Axiotis at 407 Berwick Road. The shorewood allowance has been requested by the applicants to construct a new dock. The shorewood allowance for part one is 640 square meters at a cost of $8 per square meters for a purchase price of $5,120 plus HST. Here's a location map of the subject lands, as well as um, an image, an aerial image. Um, the Sherwood allowance was received on May 3rd, 2021. The property is zoned Six Mile Lake Residential. There are no open building permits on file and we received no correspondence regarding this application. We have here um, survey. So the land is currently vacant as is. And the applicant Sonia Axiotis is present this morning. So if you have any questions for her or myself, uh, just let me know. I will stop sharing. All right, thank you very much. Um, did I hear that Miss Axiotis uh, is in, in attendance? Yes, I'm bringing them over now. Okay, thank you. Okay, they're over now if they want to make any comments. Ms. Axiotis, did you care to add anything to the presentation? I'm going to take silence as a no. Um, but if, if there is anything that you would like to add uh, later on, just please uh, uh, unmute yourself or um, and, and, uh, activate your video. Sorry, good morning. Good morning. Oh. Did you hear me now? I'm so no, sorry. Now we can hear you. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm in the car, so it's really difficult, as we all know. Uh, I do appreciate, thank you, everyone checking, uh, going over our application. And uh, we're very excited if it does come through. We are looking forward to... Uh, becoming part of the community up north in the very near future. All right, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome to the community. Thank you. Were there any members of the public that were aware of that wanted to make uh, any comments? No members of the public registered for this application. Okay, thank you. Council, any questions of either the applicant or Ms. Levesque? Uh, Council Rianko. I had no problem with the application, but I just had a question for clarification. Um, I was under the impression you, you cannot build a dock on a property without some kind of a permit to construct uh, a dwelling. 
uh, is this individual being misled that you can put a dock in without a building? Maybe I can get clarification on that. I've had no conversations with her in regards to permitting processes. So um, I have advised all applicants to get in contact with the planning and building department before uh, building anything. So I'm not sure what um, Mrs. Axiotis's um, intentions are going forward, um, but I don't know if someone from the planning department can weigh in on um, construction, but. Well, I'd just like to get a clarification. Can you put a dock on a prop on a vacant piece of property? I don't, I, I didn't think you could. I don't believe you can, but um, I don't know if Chris is here who can make comments on that. Mr. Spiller. Yes, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, right now, it's uh, it would have to be evaluated through the planning process, so it is premature to discuss this at, at this time. Okay, so no no permits have been issued, uh, have been requested or, or or issued at this point. Not yet. That's, we'll we'll that's have to evaluate. Question. Well. If, if you just want to dock on a property, are you allowed to put a dock on an empty property? That was the question. And I think the answer is no. But if, if they come in for another permit, fine, then you can assess it. But can you put a, a dock on an empty property, period? For your worship, we'll have to evaluate that and get back to the applicant and, and to council in due course. Thank you. Councilor Jarvis. Yeah, I just want to put a clarification uh, uh, for Sydney as well. Uh, in on page five of your report, you show a diagram with the shore road allowance, obviously, but then you have this thing called part one. I presume that's the whole shore road allowance we're looking at, not just part one, correct? Uh, through your worship to Councillor Jarvis, um, maybe I'll just share my screen to pull up the, the survey here because I don't. Um, right, in yeah, right in the middle of the survey, it says part one. I think that it refers to the entire shore road allowance as part yeah, one. Yeah, so so part one is the entire um, shore road allowance. So they'll be purchasing the entire piece. Oh, okay. It's interesting the way it's been put in there. Okay, thank you. Ms. Gunby. Thank you. I just uh, I was just going to explain that um, it looks like the dotted lines around part one. That has nothing to do with it's the solid lines you have to look at. So part one is the short allowance. And to answer Councillor Rango's question, you cannot have you cannot get issued a permit for an accessory structure unless there is an already existing dwelling on the property or a permit already issued for a dwelling. So we were always to ignore dotted lines. Is that the deal? <laughs> for today, yes. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Councillor Hazelton. Thank you. I, um, I really appreciate what our CAO just provided us in the way of information. Um, I would like to point out that uh, I am very sympathetic to the concerns that Councillor Wienko raised. Uh, we have had in the past um, decisions being made where docks and accessory structures um, have been approved um, prior to a principal structure being built. And um, in fact, I think even prior to a principal structure even being permitted, and um, I think that uh, um, this is a very sensitive topic. Clearly, uh, Councillor Rienko is concerned about it. Um, I see Councillor Cooper nodding his head. He's, he's concerned about it, uh, as is Councillor Jarvis. And uh, I would uh, encourage our uh, new uh, Director of Planning uh, to come back to council and provide us a, um, a very crisp clarification on what the policy will be going forward. Um, because uh, historically we've had a lot of things take place that um, don't seem to align with what we believe to be the policies. And uh, you've heard from uh, several uh, councillors already that this is a concern. I think clarity on this is something that we should, uh, we should get and have brought back to council. Thank you. Councilor Douglas. Uh, I can appreciate everybody's concern on this one. And I, I just want to say to Mr. Espila, if I pronounce your name correctly, um, it is a big concern for everyone that this is clearer 
but I also would like to acknowledge that we realize you're in a new position right now and are trying to get up to speed on everything. So, uh, you know, kudos to you for trying to answer, <laughs> but um, I think we need to give some latitude here. Uh, our new planner probably isn't up to speed on everything quite yet. And it would be good to maybe come back with a bit of a, um, an update on what that policy really is, just to appease everyone in the future going forward. Thank you. Ms. Levesque. I just wanted to make comment here. Um, it might have been some wording issues as well. Uh, the applicant does want to put a dock in in the future, and that's the reason for wanting to own the shore road allowance. But I might have, I should have worded it maybe as future development because I think she, it's a whole piece that she eventually wants to develop the property um, as a whole, not just the dock. But the dock is the reason she wants to own the shore road allowance because without purchasing the shore road allowance, she wouldn't be able to put a dock up in the future. Um, so just wanted to make clarity on that. I think that all makes perfect sense. Any other comments before I read the resolution? I have moved by Councillor Douglas, seconded by Councillor Hazelton. Be it resolved that Council passed a closing bylaw 2021-071 to stop up, close and convey part of the original shoreward allowance in front of lot 16, concession 14, Baxter, being part one of 35R-26592, now in the township of Georgian Bay, 407 Berwick Road, for the purchase price of $5,120. All those in favor? And that is carried, thank you very much. Okay, Ms. Levesque, you're gonna take the next one as well? That is for 94 uh, Bear Lake Road, please. Uh, you are muted. I'm a mess this morning, I apologize. <laughs> Okay, so the next Shore Road Allowance application is R21-11 for 94 Bear Lake Road. The Shore Road Allowance has been requested by the applicants to allow for future development. The Shore Road Allowance for part one is 1,440 square meters at a cost of $8 per square meter for a purchase price of $11,520 plus HST. Oh, Ms. Levesque. Okay. Ms. Levesque has returned, I believe. Or at least her chair has. Her chair has. <laughs> Sorry. It's a little bit of trial by fire for Sydney. Yeah. See what happens when you take a couple of weeks off? <laughs> That'll teach her. <laughs> well, you know, not that we want to begrudge her um, vacation time, but I, I trust she won't be taking another honeymoon soon. You're muted, Sydney. And I think we're still recording. Okay, Karen, I'm gonna make you co-host because my computer keeps cutting in and out. Can, can you make me host? Oh, yeah, and then sorry. I'll do the recording and then I can make you co-host and I made Julie co-host as well, just in case. I want to be co-host too. <laughs> do you want the responsibility of being co-host? <laughs> well, if it comes with cutting out and stuff like that, sure. Can you stop recording, Sydney? <laughs> 